Data analysts are in demand, but with AI and automation taking over, a question arises in our mind. Is data analyst still a good career in 2025? And if you are just starting, where should you focus your learning? So today, I am breaking down the exact roadmap you need to follow to become a job-ready data analyst in 2025. So without wasting time, let's get into the topic. Before starting with the roadmap, let's understand who a data analyst is. A data analyst is a person who collects, cleans, and interprets data to help businesses make informed decisions. They use tools like SQL, Excel, Python and visualization platforms like Tableau, Power BI to identify trends and insights. Their job is not just about numbers, it's about turning raw data into meaningful stories that drive action. Now let's focus on the roadmap of how to become a data analyst in 2025. Step number one is to master SQL and Python. These are the foundations of data analytics. The best backbone of any data analysis role is SQL. Every company from startups to Fortune 500 giants stores data in databases and SQL is how you access and manipulate that data. And here is why SQL is a must have skill. With SQL, you can write queries to pull, filter and clean data effortlessly. Joins, group by and window functions help you analyze trends like a pro, optimizing queries makes everything run faster and smoother. Let's understand this with a very simple example. Suppose you work at an e-commerce company and your manager asks which products had the highest sales last month and how did you compare this to previous month's sales. A simple SQL query can fetch that data in seconds, helping the businesses make inventory decisions. Once you are comfortable with SQL, the next step for you is Python. Why Python? Python allows you to take your analysis further using libraries like Pandas. It handles and manipulates data like Excel but way more powerful. NumPy. It performs faster numerical calculations. Matplotlib. It creates basic charts and graphs. Seaborn makes charts and graphs look better and easier to interpret. Here are the two platforms where you can sharpen your SQL skills. Lead code and strata scratch if you want to practice python with real data sets you can use kegel now that you can extract and analyze data the next step is learning how to present it effectively so our next step number two is excel a lot of beginners think that excel is outdated but here is the reality most of the businesses still rely on it every day before diving into fancy dashboards it's crucial to get comfortable with the basics that actually make work easier and here comes some of the the features of Excel. Pivot tables that instantly summarize large data sets without manual effort. VLOOKUP and index match which quickly find and match data across the sheets. Power query which automate repetitive tasks and save hours of work. Imagine this, your manager asks for a quick sales report by region. Instead of manually filtering rows and columns, a pivot table can give you the answer in seconds. Once you have mastered Excel, the next step is W and Power BI where you can build interactive dashboards that brings data to life. Pro tip, focus on dashboards that tells a clear story instead of just piling on random charts. Now let's talk about how to make your insights stand out. Step number three is data visualization. Data visualization in simple word means making data speak numbers on a spreadsheet don't mean much if people can't understand them. That's where data visualization comes in. It turns raw data into clear, actionable insights. Few tools that you need to learn for it are Number 1. Tableau Tableau is perfect for building interactive dashboards. Power BI Power BI is widely used in enterprise companies. And Google Data Studio It is best for web analytics and reporting. Imagine this, you work for Netflix and your job is to analyze viewership trends. Instead of sending a spreadsheet full of numbers, you create a dashboard that tells a story. Which genres are the most popular? Where do viewership drop off in a series? How fast is the platform growing every month? A well-designed dashboard makes data instantly understandable with no explanations needed. Pro tip, use colors wisely. Highlight key insights, not everything, to keep it clean and easy to read. Now that you can extract, analyze and visualize the data, the next step is to making sense of it. Step number four, statistics. A very important topic 
most analysts ignore. This is where most beginners skip a crucial step. You don't need to be a math expert, but basic understanding of statistics is what separates a good data analyst from great ones. So what do you need to learn in statistics? Descriptive statistics, which includes mean, median, standard deviation, A-B testing, comparing two versions of something, regression analysis, which is about predicting trends. Now, even if you are great at stats, none of it matters if you can't explain your insights. This brings us to a very crucial step that is our step number five, communication and storytelling. A lot of people think data analysts just crunch numbers all day, but that's only half the job. Your real value is helping businesses make better decisions. And to do that, you need to tell a clear, compelling story with data. Here is how to improve your data storytelling. Keep it simple. Executives don't care about technical jargons. They want simple insights. Use visuals and real world comparisons. People remember stories, not raw numbers. Anticipate questions. Always be ready to explain why something happened. Imagine this. Your CEO asks, why did the sales drop last quarter? And your answer it like, revenue decreased by 10%. This is a very bad answer. A good answer would be, revenue dropped by 10% mainly due to fewer repeat purchases. Our data suggest customers aren't returning because we are not engaging with them after their first buy. Pro tip, explain your insights like you are talking to a 10 year old. If they understand, so will your stakeholders. Now, how do you put everything into action? By building real projects. Which brings us to our step number six, build real world projects and showcase your work. If you want to get hired as a data analyst, just showing your skills in your resume won't be sufficient. Certifications are great, but recruiters love seeing real world projects that your skills. Some of the project ideas to get started are number one, YouTube analytics dashboard. You can find trends in viral videos. Number two, customer retention analysis. Predict which customers might leave. Number three, sales forecasting model. Use Python to predict future revenue. Wondering where to get data? Check out Kaggle, Google dataset search or data.gov. Once you have built your project, don't let it sit on your laptop. Upload it to GitHub or write about it on LinkedIn. This makes your work visible to recruiters and helps you stand out. Now the most awaited thing, the future of data analytics in 2025. Is it still worth it? With AI tools like ChatGPT, auto ML and automated dashboards handling basic reporting, the role of data analyst is also evolving. So is it still a relevant career? The short answer is yes. But to stay ahead, you need to go beyond just SQL queries and dashboards. Company now seek analysts who can think critically, understand business needs and tell compelling data stories that drive real decisions. Simply pulling numbers isn't enough anymore. You need to connect data to business impact. So how to stay relevant in 20 2025. Simple reporting is getting automated. Develop skills beyond dashboards. Critical thinking, storytelling and business acumen will set you apart. Companies want analysts who turn data into actionable insights. That's it for this video now. Go and drop a comment below and if this helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more such content.